Hey YouTube, it's Cherise here and I have a tutorial for you. But first let's talk about what's already on my face. So I cleansed my face, exfoliated in the shower, all that good stuff. Then I moisturized with this Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisture Cream that I got in a sample from a fashion show. And I really, really like this moisturizer. It's just super hydrating and it really just smooths the skin out and prepares it for foundation, which the foundation I'm wearing is from CoverGirl. It's their Ready Set Gorgeous in the color 320 Soft Sable. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I feel like the color match is perfect for my skin. I just love the way it blends out and then it's like a gel-like kind of texture and I love the squeezy tube. And I love the price. It's like $8. And then to set that, I used my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powders, and I used um, the two darkest, two darkest shades, which are 700 Classic Tan, which is in the centers of my face to highlight. You can kind of see right there, right here, right here. And then I used 800 Cocoa for the perimeters of my face. So here, here, and the forehead. I think it just gives a nice, natural looking base and then of course for my eyebrows oh i have two of the older powders here so this is what 700 looks like and this is 800 so you can see the difference so i use both of these 700 on the insides 800 on the outsides l'oreal pro matte infallible and these are on the expensive side these are 12 dollars a piece but they work really really well and they look really really nice on my skin after that, I did my brows, of course, using a black and brown eyeliner pencil as usual. These are from Wet n Wild. They are their color icon pencils. I use a black and brown one, and I use a spoolie to blend it through, and that's how I do my brows. So now let's move on to eyes and lips. I'm going to wear a black lip because I feel like it, and it reflects my mood about what's happening in my life. As you can see, I'm in wearing my pin. I'm in pin attire because our province officer is coming to visit our Sigma Alpha Yoda Mu Nu chapter today. And we're doing a musicale and a whole bunch of other fun activities. So I'm dressed up. And as you can see, my dress is red, which is one of our fraternity colors. And it has black detail, but also has gold detailing, which is why I'm wearing gold jewelry. And our pin is also gold. So I'm going to do a simple gold eyeshadow, probably using just one eyeshadow, gold eye look, and then show you how I like to do my, what I call my musician friendly black lips because um, I'm going to be playing saxophone, so I'm going to have to be able to take my lipstick off easily, which is why I'm not going to use a liquid lipstick or anything like that. I'm just going to use a regular lipstick from the Wet n Wild Fergie collection, but let's do the eyes first. So for my eyes, I'm using this. Perfect 22 Colors Absolute Palette in Gypsy that I got at the local hair store in Sumter. These palettes are really, really cheap. I think I paid $4 for this. But the colors are actually really, really pigmented and long-lasting. So don't knock it till you try it. Then the gold color I'm going to use is this one right here in the center of the bottom row. And I'm going to use this brush that I like almost always use in every single tutorial. And I'm just going to apply this gold all over the lid. And I try and match my gold to the golds that I'm wearing, but it never, like ever matches perfectly which is okay I also have to work a football game tonight so I don't want to do anything too crazy with my makeup I'm not wearing any highlighter or blush or contour or any of that today just keeping it super simple and so I'm just applying this all over the lid stopping right at the crease
And now I'm just taking the brush going into the crease. And kind of blending it out. And you're also going to apply this color to your inner corner. It kind of just went there naturally using this brush. And if you want to put a little bit on the bottom lash line, go ahead. I'm just kind of using whatever's left over on the brush. So that's what that looks like. And literally, that's all I'm going to do for eyeshadow. I'm just kind of blending it out some more. So that's one eye. Let's do the other eye. And I already feel my eyes watering. Time for the other side. And I have to meet with her in 40 minutes, so I'm like right on schedule. Hey Bethany, if you watch my videos. So I'm doing the same thing on my other eye, as you can see. Just placing it all over the lid. Stopping at the crease, and then I'm just gonna, of course, blend it all out. Why does it look darker on this side than this side? And it's just like a really shimmery, nice, pretty gold color to match the zipper of my dress and my jewelry. Yeah, it's coming off deeper, like the gold is darker on this side than this side. Who knows? I'm so confused. Why, I, why? Knocking off some of the excess shadow. Going in, blend. Like I said, bring some down here, whatever's left on the brush. Basically, you just want your eyes to be in a halo of gold shadow. Not looking anywhere. And yep, that is it for eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply my mascara off camera. I don't think I'm gonna do any eyeliner like actually I might use um a black eyeshadow to like smoke out my upper lash line. I'll do that. I don't really feel like doing liquid though. I'm actually running out of liquid black eyeshadow. Which I never thought would happen because I don't wear it that much. All right. I'm taking this e.l.f. small precision brush and I'm going to take the color Noir, which is just a black eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills, right here. And I'm just going to apply that to my upper lash line. Because I know when I put mascara on, I'm going to get this line anyway, so I might as well just go ahead and put something there. And my nose starts to run every time, never fails.
I don't know if this is kind of messy, that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect because I am going to blend it out a little bit. I'm mostly using this brush because it's very dense and it can really pack on the color. And I'm not going all the way in. So I'm kind of stopping two-thirds the way in. So that's what that looks like now. And now what I'm going to do is take a fluffier brush, and this is just from Coastal Scents. I use it to do my inner corner sometimes with the bottom lash line, and I'm going to take a little bit more shadow. And I'm just going to go in and blend it out some. And I'm just kind of blending it out. Like I said, I'm going to do my mascara off camera because there's no point in you seeing me put on mascara. I don't have any special tips or tricks for that. I just keep on going until I get the look that I want. So, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's the eyes completed minus mascara. I don't want to put any on the bottom lash line. And it just, you know, makes my eyes pop a little bit more. Now on to lips. Like I said, this is my musician friendly black lipstick. So what I like to do first is start with a black eyeliner. And this is a Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil that is really, really small because I've used almost all of it up. And what I'm going to do is Line my lips. I don't think I've worn a black lip since like January. And I'm filling, filling it in a little bit. I really focus on defining the edge. I don't know if you just heard my stomach growl. And I'm doing great on time. It's only 10.56 a.m. So I'm going to head over to the music department to pick her up from her meeting that she's about to go into now. And that's how your lips should be looking. Don't go out like this, please. And now I'm working on the very edges yet again. A 
way to find them. I'm making sure I have the shape that I want. All right. So once you have your lips lined in black and somewhat filled in, I didn't fill it in like a lot, a lot, or all the way. I need some wipe some of these eyeliner off on that got off my hands. Next, what you're gonna do is actually take the black lipstick and apply that. And I'm using one from the Wet n Wild Furby collection called Pagan Angel. But I plan to get Anastasia Beverly Hills Witches Matte Liquid li li Matte Liquid Lipstick. That's hard to say. And so now you're just gonna. Apply the lipstick. I really like this lipstick because it's super creamy. It's not drying on the lips at all. And highly pigmented, obviously. It has kind of like a satin finish. It's not super shiny, but it definitely isn't matte. But that But you know when I look at my eyes and I look at this lip, it makes me just want to have winged eyeliner, like something more bold and edgy, but I'm not going to because I have other things to do that I'm not wearing this black lipstick when I go to the football game tonight with my high school band that I work with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Like I said, if you want to see the finished thing with mascara, that's all I'm going to add. Then check me out on my Instagram and my Snapchat at Oh So Very Sexy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye, YouTube. Wait, there's a folder blocking.